Exclamation, everybody, and welcome uh, to Urbex City Builder Prologue. It is by Studios Kremlinois. If I've pronounced that correctly, I have no idea. And uh, published by Rock Game SA. It's a prologue, so it's it's a demo. Uh, so it's currently free out on Steam. It's actually been out on, on Steam since March, it looks like. So I'm really late to the game here. Apologies. But um, it's uh, basically what it says on the tin. It's a city builder. Um, sort of reminiscent of like a... A Sim City, but not not quite. Um, uh, I've played a little bit of it. Uh, it does kind of it does have a very guided um, tutorial. Um, basically, as you start out in the game, it gives you uh, basically quests to do, kind of thing, uh, or tasks, I guess. Uh, so we're gonna follow through them and uh, get as far as we can. I'm gonna put a time limit on it though, and uh, we're gonna give it maybe a Half an hour, I would say. Let's get the into here first, and um, yeah, let's do new game. And I'm just gonna keep it as what it was. Uh, I'm just gonna keep the difficulty 100%. Everything else standard. Map size small. Um, coastal river tempered biome. Basically, just keep it that way. I, I will say that the small map size is pretty small, um, but uh, you know it would be you can't I can't change it because it's not available in this version. So there you go. Let's play, and we'll get uh, the timer started here, and see how far we can get in thirty minutes, my friends. So uh, welcome to Urbex City Builder Prologue, uh, various new buildings and all that stuff. Move around with WASD, you to show and hide the UI stuff, the to switch to different cameras. All right. And they want me to build a road, a minimum of six spaces long, heading into a forest. They've kind of like, I'm gonna swap my view around here a little bit. They kind of the forest that way. So we want a road at least six spaces long. So we're gonna go and do this, like so, all right, and then build six fields, and there's all, there's hotkeys for all this stuff too, so, uh, you know, everything works out pretty well here, two by three box, okay. Right there. It cannot be more than five spaces from a road. Um, which, honestly, I probably should put them further in land, but, you know, is what it is. Now build six houses. We'll go one, two, three, four. Uh, let's go those, this, and house. Five, six. And you can right click on tiles to get information about them. Bulldozer tool is B. You just only use it. Wood is required to so build a lumber camp in the forest adjacent to your settlements. Trees are replanted after cut down, but leaving too few adult trees can result in lumber camps being abandoned. So let's go lumber camp. And we'll put it with as many forest around as we can. I guess I'm going to have to bulldoze a few things here. That. There we go. Uh, find information about store resource by hovering over its icon. So here's all our resources and let's see uh, work all that stuff. This is like, I think 2000 is the storage. We have 1580. This is current and this is max, I think, is how it works. And then this is the difference. Obviously, you want green numbers for the difference because it means you have a surplus. This is the number of people. And then this is the general happiness. Uh, try to reach 100 population. So that's what our next goal will be. 
First of all, we're gonna bump down more houses. We're gonna bulldoze that tree. House right there. Uh, we're gonna get more roads going. Like so. That. And we'll get uh, fields. Don't need them. And then let's get a, a road going up this way. Those I do like the like the building is really is really simple. Like you can like very easily put down multiples of a thing and, and it works out pretty darn well. Which is quite nice. Um I think uh so what do we got? Like ninety population? We should get to a hundred population with those other two houses there. Once the wood comes rolling in. I think, I think we will anyway. Yeah, 96. Yeah, it's going up still. This will hit us 100 right there. So that'll be good. And... Eventually. <laughs> eventually right there. I think it's just they're waiting for materials there, you know? Uh, do I need one more house? Is that what... Nope, 102. There we go. Population, uh, press control. You can view your city from the inhabitants' point of view, which is kind of cool. You can go down here and just kind of walk around and see everything looks and see all the fields and all that stuff. It's, it's a neat little thing. I don't know how useful that'll be, but it's it's neat to like be able to see your city from the from the ground up. Um, on the farm icon, you'll see the farmhouse button has now appeared, but we need... 200 population, as you can see, to unlock it. So, we gotta get to that. Now reach 200 population to unlock the farmhouse. Ooh. We'll do, how's our... We're at 70... Uh, no, we're at 54 on the food. We can keep going a little bit more with our housing here. More houses. Like so. Now we're gonna need some more farmland. Most likely. Although I can shove some in here. Because technically it's still within five spaces of the road. So it should still work. Not be built in carnivorous far. The first part. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Fine. Fine. I need more houses though. I'm pretty sure. Oh. The food. Yeah, food's being built up. That's good. Uh, let's get another road. Going up here. Like that. What are we at? 150? Alright. Hold those a few things. More houses going. Pretty sure we're going to need um, more food though. So let me get these down. Get another road down. And that's pulled it. Uh, do I have to pull those these for the fields down? The fields down. Um. Yeah, I have to pull those these fields down. So we saw the farmhouse unlock. Okay. 
Yep. Excellent. And so we get that going. We got 200 population, but at least two farmhouses. They produce a large amount of food whilst consuming nothing. Uh, display areas can show you where you can build them. Um, you have to see, so the farmhouses are interesting. They, they have to be, they need a 12 or more farm and a three radius. Currently it says 10. And you can have no farm, no other farmhouse within a five radius. So what we gotta do here is bulldoze the crap out of things. Like that. And I need to get more fields going. We have enough for the farmhouse now. We do right there. One, and I might as well, I might as well build fields around it because why not? Uh, and road, wooden bridge going. All right. So, I need to get another farmhouse in here somewhere. I think it's going to be down here. Let's go that, maybe. And we'll pull those all of this. Fields down. Happy built in. Oh man. Whole thing. Throwing me up here. I can't build it on snow, which is very straight. Um. We bulldoze all of this. And I'll bulldoze all of that. I wonder if I can like bulldoze enough that it'll actually change it from change the forest type. I don't think I don't think that's a thing. I don't think that's a thing. Here. Okay. At the very least, I can do it up here. Go. With all of that. The fields down. Let's make sure the fields actually go down. Sweet. That. And. Farmhouse. 12 or more. Okay. More fields up here. Might as well make all these fields do. Why not? Worth doing, it's worth overdoing, as they say. Farm distance of roads three squares. Okay, doesn't like being that far away from from the road. I understand. That. right there and about the rest of it fields I have enough resources to build fields uh all right because we're how much storage we have uh 
All right, that's fine. We can get back to there. So we got two farmhouses. Um, we need three hundred population and three farmhouses to unlock the village house, and then they need energy, uh, density, some houses in a radius, and build a lumberjack cabin close to the lumber camp to reduce energy, firewood from wood. Lumberjack cabin also needs three hundred population and three farmhouses to unlock. So. Yeah, we need 300 population and another farmhouse. Uh, gonna be interesting. Um, I'm gonna stay here. Let's get rid of get rid of that road. Um, I need another farmhouse there. I need a bunch of. Well, I can just I can rid of these I guess and we'll get a bunch more houses going each need five more work yeah I'm low on work because uh, we need uh, I guess we need more population to do it Work for 45. Five is the minimum production. Uh, wooden hut. Russian 410. Wooden huts. Consumption is 415 from the lumber camp and from the farms. Uh, so, yeah, I'm in a point here where we need more, we need more people. I don't think I can... Can I upgrade these? Production. Uh, village has to unlock. So to unlock village house, I need 300 population and another farm. Yeah, that's what they were saying. This is. These are all the upgrades you can do, but you can't do them until you actually have people to do it with. So there's that. Um, I wonder, can I, like, turn off one of these? I think so. I don't think that's a thing I could do. I wish it was a thing I could do. <laughs> wish I could just tell it, like, turn it off for now, and then... It later, but I guess uh, what we'll have to do is actually probably bulldoze it. We got so much food though, so what we'll, what we'll do is we'll uh, bulldoze one of these for the moment. And that should free up some workers, hopefully. Oh, actually, no, you know what it is? It's I have so many farms, that's what it is. Um, Let's get rid of a couple of those. Let's put the, uh, the house back there again. Farmhouse. Uh, you know what? Let's we'll do this. All right, and then we'll put the farms, the fields back up here. I had the resources to do it. I don't. We need 300, uh, a slowly going up, but very, very slowly. There. Okay. So I've outdone myself. I put too many, too many farms down and not enough houses. Which is a problemo. Um,. What I'm gonna do for right now, let's just get rid of these. 
All right, so we have 100 extra workers now. Let's get our housing up the way we need it. We have more work. We'll get there. bunch of people here. We got 300 now. Plenty of food for them, so might as well finish out this row. And there. Alright, good. So we have that. So that will should increase the amount of work we have, right? Yeah, 570 now. Good. And then I should be able to these fields back down that I had. And that farmhouse going. Over more farm. There we go, right there. Labor, we have a seven there. All right, let's get more more houses down. Just took a whole lot of wood away from this from this lumberjack here, which is not not ideal. But it is what it is right now. We need a lumberjack. Cabin. Still needs one more farmhouse. Yeah. That figured you would say. Uh, so I have to put some fields over here as a buffer. as we're running up against our limits again. Yeah, we're running up against those limits again. Um, I can get that, like, right there, maybe. Yeah, like I can get right over to here. This is the closest I can get. Um, I wish you could like put it down, you know, and then build around it. Like I wish that was a thing where you could just like say I want it here, and then just kind of then build the farms and stuff that we need. Uh, let's go. Need a few more houses. I need the <laughs> I need the the work what I need and obviously I'm going crazy with stuff here 
shouldn't be going as fast as I am, but I'm trying to show as much of the game as fast as I can here. Fields there. Seven fields in the radius. Okay. Oh, it's okay. So it's got enough farms. It's just I need to be within three squares of the road. Um, all right. So road going this way. Yeah, right there. That works. We got the three things we needed. We can get the lumberjack cabin now. Uh, one or more lumber camp in a three radius. Okay. The road three squares. All right, so I can just go through that and just put it right there. go oh oh i guess they automatically upgrade i don't have to tell them to upgrade they're just going to do it on their own that's that's a lot better so they're automatically upgrading to village houses now as they go they got wealthy village house all right cool so i don't have to select all of them and say upgrade they'll just upgrade as they as they can And our happiness is going up, which is nice. All right. Make sure no resource has a negative production rate. And we marked in red. Otherwise, some construction may not appear or may be abandoned. Only a few block constructions are shown, so it's not to overwhelm you with options. Now uh, the village houses are unlocked, you have energy, your wooden huts will automatically be upgraded. New houses give more happiness to your inhabitants. Get more village houses increase happiness to 6.5. Tents are peasants who rent the land. Their living conditions are very low. They need only three farms next to them. Build a tent farmer. You can hold down the alt key to overbuild any building. So you don't need to destroy a farm to build your tent farmer. You just hold alt and build on the farm. Okay. So you can overbuild. I see. But we have, we don't have enough power. We only get 60 for one lumberjack ca cabin. Well, that's fun. Uh, I guess we'll have to come over here and do some more, more lumberjack stuff. Uh, let's go road like that. Wooden bridge. And road down this way. Cool. Uh, then I'll go... Build a lumber camp. Go, um... Demolish that. Uh, we gotta demolish, like, this, maybe. And then... Lumber camp right there. And then right next to it, I'll build Lumberjack House. Lumberjack Cabin, I mean. There we go. Lumberjack House unlocked. What does that do?
Mill duck, lumberjack cabin. I guess that's the upgraded lumberjack cabin. Upgrades the lumberjack house. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, so we got that. We got some more energy coming in, which is good. Everybody happy <laughs> as much as we can. And uh, build tenant farmer. Towns or peasants who rent the land. Uh, five or less tenant farmer in a one radius. Three or more farm in one radius. Has ten residents, five happiness. Tenant farmer. Um. Overbuild any building, so you don't need to destroy a farm to build your tenant farmer. Okay. So it's not like, I'm not destroying a farmhouse, I'm just making a tenant farmer here. Yes. So if I go right there. Okay. Tenant farmer. And then one right there, I guess. Landlord's house unlocked. So how much do we need then? Landowner needs at least four tenant farmers to produce, uh, build a landlord's house. Okay, so you need four tenant farmers and you can build a landlord's house. Hmm, interesting. All right. There's a lot of... So th this game is really about just like upgrading, 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 upgrading. Through and through. You're just going along the progression route there. Um, I like it. I like I like what it's doing. It, it's... In some ways it feels like a simplified sort of SimCity, but at the same time... Um, it's... Um, you still have to like like you saw i was running out of like re like resources and stuff you saw like I, you still have to balance some things i think it's more this game's more focused on rather than city management it's more focused on like balancing you know the different types of buildings and the different um you know basically balancing all these numbers up here get stuff uh working out right and then doing enough to sort of upgrade. So it's like balance and upgrade, balance and upgrade, balance and upgrade. So I, I like I like what they're doing with it. I, I, this is this is really interesting. It, it's in some ways it's a, like a casual game, but I, I don't. I, it's hard. It's like city builders tend to be a little bit more on the casual side, I guess. You know, you're not like rushing around constantly doing things. You can you can pause time and all that stuff, and you and they're. They do have all that up here to pause and down here and whatnot. Um, so it's uh, it, it feels it feels that like it's 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 it, rather than bog you down in like the city politics, which a lot of the a lot of the city builder games do. Like they they you know you got to manage education and manage schools and all that stuff. It seems like they're just kind of at, they've kind of abstracted that away. You know, you got to manage like your police coverage and fire coverage and all that stuff. And it looks like they've sort of abstracted a lot of that away and are just focused on just like just balancing, you know, workers with food and and all that stuff. Um, you know, your population and all that stuff, and then just looking at upgrades and upgrading your tree and as you go. I think um, one bit of feedback I might have is maybe like they kind of throw a lot into this menu over here and I you know on the one hand I like it I like what they're doing here but on the other hand when it comes to like upgrades and things I feel like I guess, I guess this is fine there's a part of me that kind of wishes they had a tree so I could kind of look at the whole upgrade tree and I could see like okay at this population I get this at that population I get that Rather than looking at, because really you're looking at a slice of the upgrade tree, right? You're looking at the slice that 
involves village house. And if I, you know, click on this, see there's no upgrades there. But if I click on farm, there's no upgrades there. Upgrades from field, basically. Um, from field to farm. Uh, and then over here, the lumberjack house. Upgrades from lumberjack cabin. You know what I mean? Like, you're seeing little vertical slices of it, but you're not seeing the whole thing. And maybe it would be nice to see the whole thing. I don't know. Maybe that would be more confusing. I, I'm... I'm kind of on the fence about it. I, I feel like I like what they have here. Uh, it just, um, yeah, no, I like what they have here. And I like that it's not, you know, not based on money and stuff. Like you don't have to, I mean, my, my biggest problem every time I start a city builder game is I, I run out of money immediately. Right. Whereas here it's like, you don't have to worry about money. You just have to balance, you know, make sure you're building houses You've got enough people there. Make sure you're building farms. You know, don't go crazy like I did with the farms. You know, having like ridiculous amounts of like we got so much surplus food. It's crazy. Like I don't need that many farms there. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's a this one's a lot. I like this from a more of a, a micro perspective, right? Where you're like picking and cho you know you, you go really slow, and if you're really slow and deliberate, and you you run the numbers and look at the numbers and see how they're coming through there, you can uh, um, really optimize this. You know, you can really have a really optimal run as you go. So I, I, I like that. It's it's an interesting concept. It's interesting, like, instead of, you know, bogging the player down with, with money and, and taking out loans and paying back loans and doing all the more political stuff, it's more like, you know, just kind of balance, you know, like, it, they're kind of forcing you to take your time and just sort of, you know, do some math and, and make sure the numbers all add up at the end of the day to try to get the balance that you're looking for, which uh, I think is kind of cool. It's a, it's a different way of a different way of doing it. I would say a very, very different way of doing it. Um, and that's cool. I like, I like, I like what I see here. I like it a lot. I would say, uh, I'm <laughs> I'm sorry it's taking me so long to get to it because it looks like a really cool game. Uh, I'm digging it. So this has been Urbex City Builder Prologue. Um, it is a free demo right now out on Steam. Um, and it is uh, it is created by uh, a Studios Ukremonoa and published by Rock Game SA. Uh, as always... I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.